wheat bread has that perfect combination of sweet and a little bit of healthy. Lynn Oka is with us today. She's from Lynn's Bread. And, uh, uh, you know, your business, uh, bread, I mean, it, it's like the staff of life. That's it's got to be great to make something like this. It is, Tom, and it makes the kitchen smell so good when we do. Mm -hmm. Now, where exactly are you located? We're in the southwest part of Springfield, and we're also online at lynnsbread.com. All right. Yeah. We bring smells grains good. in from Montana. That's where a lot of good grains are grown for wheat, mm -hmm. for making bread. And we've got some right here, Tom. Yep. That's wheat. And we're going to use... Yeah, look at that. We're going to use that and make our own flour. So that's why this is kind of a unique recipe. Okay. And this is a grain mill, and we can just pour it in the hopper here and turn it on. Right here. Yep. Tom, you've done a lot of things, but I don't know if you've ever made flour, have you? Oh, I haven't. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Then we're going to add our grain to the mixture. Okay. Now we're going to grind up your own flour. That's right. right. And the reason that I do that is that there's great bran and germ and oil in there. And, you know, when we buy uh, white flour off the grocery store shelf, we don't get that. Mm -hmm. So we get great nutrition from grinding our own flour, and we also get just a wonderful flavor. But you don't have to add anything to that? Yeah. yeah, it is. It's 100% whole wheat bread that you can't get anywhere else. Once any grain has been ground or cracked, you have 72 hours to use it up for maximum nutrition because most of the nutrients have oxidized out after 72 hours. So that's why we do that. And we just open this up right here, okay. and we're going to get our flour and show you what the flour looks like. Alrighty. Tom's very own flour. Yeah. Yes. The heat ground. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you made all that, though, Tom. I gotta no, say, I the so. few greens that you put in there That's probably right. didn't make all that, but wow, pure. it's great. Thank that you. is nice. Mm -hmm. all all right. Right. A cup of grain makes about a cup and a half of flour. And then we come over here and use this mixer. I make about um, four to six two-pound loaves at one time in this mixer. Uh -huh. And Shannon, if you don't mind pouring in the honey and the oil. Okay. Honey, oh, that was an interesting, oh, it's honey and oil. <laughs> yes, mixed together. <laughs> an interesting green honey going on there. That's olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. Stuff. We've got the salt, mm -hmm. and then we've got also the um, dough enhancer and gluten. Dough enhancer has a little bit of vitamin C in it, oh. helps make it last longer and on the shelf. And you just buy that as, it just we says dough enhancer? Everything here okay. that you see, yeah, it's kind of hard to find dough enhancer off the store shelf, so it's something that we stock. Okay. And then there's yeast. So somebody could go to your store and get all the ingredients to make their own Absolutely. bread. All they the machines. And buy, okay, the machines. And they could also buy the fresh bread. Well, we don't sell the fresh bread very much, except for to our families and friends, you know. Okay. But I prefer who are your cheese? customers? Well, yeah. Who yes. are, I mean, but who are your customers as far as... The home bakers who really appreciate a healthy loaf of bread. You can make this loaf of bread by grinding your own wheat and doing all these things for about a dollar, as opposed to buying it in a store. I don't think you're going to be able to find fresh flour that's been ground. You know, no. so it's really a savings advantage to once you purchased your machines and right. such. Yeah. Okay. And we'll just turn this on and that'll mix up those ingredients. And we'll pour in those six cups of water there. Right. And then Tom, you can start spinning in some flour if you like. Just sure. Spoon over there. And are we gonna let it rise for a little while too? Is this kind I'm of a sure time consuming process? Yeah. yeah. What we did was we made some ahead of time that's taking over the edges of that yes, bowl. It is. How long does <laughs> it yeah. take to get that? To that that that's well. about two hours. Okay. Yeah. So once you get the flour in, then it goes back to the mixing process. Right, right, it does. And then when we uh, get everything, I can tell how much flour to add by the sides of the bowl. Right. The dough cleans it. Mm -hmm. And I can tell that, and then we'll just take and dump that tom right on there if you would. Right here? Yes, please. Seriously, okay. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Ooh, there you go. Yeah. And we uh, right, are you able to see that. Yeah. yeah. That looks so good. And then you can make it into any of the different types of bread That's that you have right. here, croissants and stuff. Thank you so much for showing us. I love it. Very nice. Thank you yes. for having me. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. it. All right. Yeah. Still ahead. Shannon's advice. And this black bear was a bit of